Mechanical Back Pain Back pain is usually caused by an injury to the muscles or ligament of the spine. This could be due to a sudden twisting or bending force from an accident or fall, or simply from an awkward movement or lifting a heavy item with poor body positioning. Signs of back pain may include muscle ache, muscle spasms, shooting or stabbing pain, pain that radiates down your legs, and limited flexibility or range of motion of the back. Unless you had a physical injury, such as a motor vehicle accident or fall, x-rays are usually not ordered for the initial evaluation of the back pain. Most of us get better without any medical interventions. Approximately 90% of patients with acute low back pain recover with self-care. The pain may be brief, or it may last a couple weeks, but it does go away. It is important to take it easy for the next few days and do not lift anything heavier than 15 pounds until your pain is gone. But though it might hurt a lot to move around, it is important to begin sitting and walking as tolerated as soon as possible to avoid problems with prolonged bed rest. This includes muscle weakness, worsening back stiffness and back pain, or blood clots to the legs. Also, avoid prolonged sitting because this puts more stress onto your lower back. When you're laying in bed, a firm mattress is best. Try laying flat on your back with pillows underneath your knees or side laying with the knees bent towards your chest and a pillow in between to help you sleep at night. Simple measures can help with the back pain. Ice pack to the area for about 20 minutes every two to three hours can help reduce the swelling. Heat, such as hot showers, hot baths, and a heating pad works well for muscle spasms and help relax the muscles. Back strengthening exercises, yoga, stretches. In addition to back injury prevention techniques, are important for recovery and to prevent future recurrences. Other ways to prevent back pain is to modify your workstation, improve your posture, take breaks from sitting, and to continue to move around. Over-the-counter medications such as acinaminophen and ibuprofen can be used to help with pain. Make sure to take them with food. However, if you have chronic liver disease or chronic kidney disease, or ever had a stomach ulcer or GI bleeding, talk to your doctor before taking these medications. Your emergency provider may prescribe you other medications to take. Be aware that certain medications can cause drowsiness and or constipation. Talk to your nurse if you have any questions. If your symptoms do not improve in 7 to 14 days with self-care instructions listed before, follow up with your primary care provider. He or she may consider using physical therapy to help with your recovery. If you do not have a primary care provider, ask your nurse and they can provide you with some resources. In rare cases, back pain can signal a serious medical problem. You want to return to the emergency department if you have new or difficulty with urination, incontinent of stool, weakness or numbness in one or both legs, numbness in the top part of your inner thigh on both sides or in the groin genital area, or if you have a persistent fever of 100.4 that does not get better with medication. Just remember, rest as needed, use simple measures such as ice, heat, and comfortable positioning, back strengthening and back injury prevention techniques, and pain medication as needed. Lastly, remember, movement is medicine. 
people who don't move at all do worse with recovery.